and you guys remember us. <laughs> so uh, we're going to do a Harold. We're going to talk about this uh, massive aeroplane thing going on. Uh, to get us started, all we need is a word from one of the lovely audience members. Popcorn. I'm sorry? Popcorn. 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 Or uh, down the movie theater. That's where. That's where the best food is. That's where you don't even have to. Talk about taking somebody out on a cheap date. And believe me, he's taken me on a lot of cheap dates. You go after the movie. You just you can pick up a, a ticket stub, like right, right outside. Two of them. Well, <laughs> way after the credits. We're still there, picking up. Now, life in the butter factory, it's not easy. No, I mean, there's certainly perks. It's a near natural slip and slide. Oh, yeah, to be sure. I mean, your skin is never dry. You don't have that problem. No, no. Not even your skin, your insides, too. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, there are times when you think, I don't want to say this out loud. I, I'm happy to say it out loud. Are there other condiments? Um, are there other condiments? You beat me to it. <laughs> the greatest thing about being a dentist is picking stuff out of people's teeth and storing it in little packages so when they come back you can say, hey, look what I picked out of your teeth last time. Yeah, you get all those unpopped kernels and it just smashes their teeth. That's why we have deals with the movie theater owners. <laughs> right. We've got a racket going on. They send them our way, we send them right back with little coupons for more popcorn. <laughs> more popcorn equals more cracked tea. Sometimes I just fester inside for so long I just explode onto somebody. Just get out there and just crush them. Just let me hear one more crunch. Just let me hear you do it one more time. Oh, God, you see these people? Oh, that makes me sick. Right down. You can hear it from across the room. It's disgusting. I just want to... I like cookies. <laughs> I like uh, caramel. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much all the flavors. Yeah. Chocolate filled anything? Honey. <laughs> honey cupcakes. Ooh. You're getting me hungry, Gerald. I'm getting me hungry. Ooh, I'm getting me hungry. Ooh. I'm getting hungry. Hungry. All right, nice to see you again. Six months. Your teeth look wonderful. And you know what? As your dentist, I'm not very happy. It's my job to clean your teeth. Will you put me out of business? I, I brush three times a day after every- I know! Stop it! You haven't had one cavity in five years! I've got this really cool floss. It's like, it's actually nylon. It really digs in. And even on the floss, there's these little brushes that gently caress my gums and say, Hey, gums, don't get gingivitis. <laughs> you know, I'm raising a family. I need to fill cavities. I need to do root canals. I can't have people like you take care of your teeth. Have you heard of the gummy bears you asked for? <laughs> Look, these are special gummy bears. I don't eat sugar. <laughs> How are you even a human? Well, sugar is a, a processed food that some sort of corporation made to make us fat and dependent on other people. I like to live off the earth with vegetables. You know those people that work in that corporation? They have families. <laughs> they need people to eat their sugar. Have a, have a gummy bear. No, no. <laughs> I, I will not eat your gummy bears. Doctor. I came here for a teeth cleaning and a little bit of fluoride rinse. <laughs> <laughs> you will learn to like sugar. I will not, sir. I'm a man of principles with a body like an Adonis. <laughs> How 
dare you bring your principles in this office? <laughs> My HMO didn't pay for this visit. I would walk right out of here. <laughs> <laughs>
You know, now, now that I think about it, when I was bringing her ashes from the kitchen to the kitchen table, sometimes I would kind of skip when I did it. Yeah. And it was, it was, to be perfectly honest, it wasn't just the sound of your feet, it was the clanking. It reminded me of the... Well, I dropped it a few times. Sure. <laughs> I guess it reminded me of the roller coaster train that killed my wife. I'm so sorry. It's okay. How could you know? I couldn't have known. I should have stopped by before. You should have asked. I just did a little neighborly checking. How's your spouse? Is she alive? <laughs> would have been neighborly for me to ask too. I should have assumed that it wasn't just cookies in the jar.
Would that be impersonating an officer? <laughs> I don't look anything like you. He's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I got a bottle of whiskey here. I need to drink this. All right, fine. <laughs> Stevie, do you need a designated driver? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, you're sitting down. How tall are you? 
I'm about six foot four. <laughs> Boy, big fella. <laughs> well, listen, sometimes we lose things in life, and there's a reason, you know, the seasons, they go round and round. <laughs> And we lose things, and we have loss, and sometimes you just gotta say a little prayer and move on. Here, let's bow our heads and pray. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, well, okay. no problem. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh thanks. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> 